All right, hey Leo, so I'm doing a quick energy check-in for those of you who are dealing with somebody who kind of gave you that excuse. It's not you, it's me. And you're going to know this is your read by your um, energy, your current situation, and what this person told you. All right, so if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements, you guys. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. So let's just see what is coming through for you, Leo. Your energy, your situation for Leo. All right. So we have the Nine of Swords coming through, which is um, it's stress, man. It's worry, anxiety. Um, this right here is that stringing along drama, you know. Um, I kind of feel like you're just like, gosh, I just feel for whoever's here. You could have felt like you got played. You're dealing with somebody who only thinks about themselves and puts themselves first. All right. And I feel like the energy that you're kind of in right now that this person left you in is just like, um, I hate to say it because I don't want you guys to feel like this, but what's wrong with me? You know, why can't I, why does, you know, why does this shit happen? Um, that nine of swords in reverse, even in the upright, man, there's just no positive spin on that card. So I feel like your energy is just really heavy. Um, tell, you know, everybody stay away from me. It's all about, um, I'm just going to make life about me. I'm focusing on me. I don't want to talk to nobody, you know? Um, and I feel like this is going to be a depiction too of the person or situation and connection that you were dealing with, um, about somebody's selfish behavior. So I kind of feel like that's where your, um, energy is sitting at possibly like somebody was just stringing you along the entire time um playing with your feelings playing with your emotions and just kind of instilling drama when all you want is um peace so let's see what it is this person told you what did they tell you all right so the two of um wands coming through it did come in reverse um, that's the inability to make a decision, the Knight of wands. And then we have the chariot card. I just feel like this person's um, basically telling you, you know, I don't really know what I want right now when it comes to my life. I'm not ready to settle down. Um, you know, uh, this person, I, they could have um, stuff that they're kind of working on in the background in their personal life. And I almost feel for whoever I'm talking to, you may not have actually gotten to a level that was too deep with that person. Um, this, this one that we're talking about here. And I almost feel like this person keeps everything very, very superficial, but in the back of their mind, it's like, you know, that there's something deeper um, that they're connecting to. I just feel like this person is basically saying to you, I don't know what I want in life when it comes to my, the romantic side of it, the connection, the, um, you know, the partner, um, this person, I just feel they're, they're, they're probably telling you here, I'm chasing dreams. I'm trying to get some stuff done, you know, and I'm not ready to settle down. I'm not looking for anything serious. All right. I just kind of feel like that's where this person's sitting at. So let's see who it is. This person is, who is this person, their energy. All right. So we have a lot of fire energy. We have the eight of wands coming through. It came through in reverse. We have the 10 of wands and the full card. So this is um, Sagittarius and Aquarius energy. Um, so what I'm going to say with this person, um, they're definitely here to um, play, um, it, especially when it comes to this situation. I'm going to pull to see what's really going on with them. But the eight of wands in reverse is it, it, it's it, this right here is like flighty um, unserious behavior. All right. With the full card coming through, it's almost like they just kind of grasp at new opportunities that come through. Um, you know, and I just feel like this person, um, that they, they do have a lot that they're kind of carrying right now when it comes to their life. Um, it could be, um, okay. So for some reason, um, packing up and leaving, um, just came to mind. Um, so this person could be actually, um, leaving, maybe didn't tell you, um, maybe, um, they felt that, uh, the communication between you and them, Leo, um, it was, a, it didn't, uh, constitute, um, telling you what's going on with them. All right. That's just kind of what I'm seeing for some people. It doesn't have to be that that's everybody's um, situation, but I do feel like this person is not quite ready for a new beginning. This person is not ready. I mean, it could be too, that they're trying to work on something else when it comes to their life, as far as a new beginning, but to settle down, to be serious, I don't see that here. So let's see what their intentions were with you from the get go. Yeah. I don't like this. The five of pentacles. You guys know what that means. 
You got the King of Swords in reverse and the World card in reverse. So um, I feel like their intentions, there's something in their life that is definitely not cycled out, okay? Their intentions from the get-go, we have this King of Swords coming through in reverse. And this is basically saying that this person doesn't have to tell you um, what's going on with them. They don't plan on telling you what the truth is. They don't tell you, they don't plan on being direct. Um, and they don't, um, I feel like this person potentially might not have any boundaries when it comes to um, how they act and what they portray themselves to be. All right. Um, with the five of pentacles coming through, this is abandonment. This is like somebody that maybe intended to ghost or um, they knew they were going to leave after possibly even getting what they wanted. All right. I just feel like they have some ill-gotten behavior. I feel like they're not serious. Um, and you know, they could have, they could have been super brutally honest with you, but I just kind of feel like from their energy and what they've shown you. Um, I just feel like they're they're presenting themselves after the fact as a little bit rough. So let's see what's really happening with this person. What is going on? So here's what I'm going to say. Um, this world card, the fact that it came through in reverse, you guys heard me say something about cycles. You guys seen that card. It came through in reverse just like that one did, the King of Swords. I feel, um, here's what I'm going to say. This person's not over. They're not over something. This person is definitely having unhealthy attachments, um, thinkings and thoughts when it comes to, um, I'm going to say somebody, I feel like somebody has reappeared in their life and I do feel like it is a new beginning. The reason why I'm saying that is because we actually have an energy showing up as this King of Pentacles. All right. Um, this is Virgo energy. But what I'm going to say is I just, I mean, if you can kind of look at the dynamic of the cards, it's almost like this person already has somebody wrapped around their head. Even if they weren't together with this person, I do feel like they, um, they're not, they didn't plan on giving themselves to anybody because of somebody that they have, um, on their mind. They have their mind set on somebody. Um, and even if it's not somebody that's returning from the past, I feel like the cycle that's not closed out is the person and the playeristic, um, vibe that they're giving off, um, so I, I just kind of feel like this person is offered um, something somewhere else for the time being. All right. So let's see if this person um, is coming back. Is this person coming back? So we have, there we go. The return of the past. Yeah. They're conflicted about their choices that they've made. They're conflicted about their actions. So what's basically going to happen is, is this person's going to start analyzing what they've done to you, their behavior and how they kind of handled the situation. Um, you know, I do feel like this person is coming back, but what I want to tell you is you get, you catch a glimpse of this King of Cups energy. This is somebody who lacks emotional availability, somebody who, who lacks the um, capacity to be emotionally balanced. They are coming back, but it's almost like whatever's kind of happening in their life as of right now, it's not working out to this person's favor. And I feel like that could be one of the reasons why this person steps back into you. So I just got to tell you guys, as your friend and tarot reader, you need to pay attention to this person's actions. All right. So let's just see what the potential is of this connection. The potential of this connection. We have the three of wands the nine of wands, and then we have this knight of swords, which is going to be a depiction of somebody who is burnt out, impulsive, unfocused, restless, and somebody who is fast thinking. So it's like this person, I feel when they don't get something, when something doesn't go their way, um, you know, that's what they act. They act flighty, they act in haste, um, they scramble. Um, I, I feel really, you know, as this whole read kind of sits right here, look at the king of wands in reverse you guys know that's just like the knight of wands um but i really feel like from this person's mannerisms from their behavior um uh, the potential of this connection is is i mean you see it you know you're just gonna have to use your intuition when they come back um but it's almost like something is not working out in their favor and i feel like that's what's happening currently and then it's like when it doesn't uh, when it falls through they come back but I just feel like, um, you know, spirit's kind of warning you, um, you know, this is going to be a cause for you to be on high alert. You should keep your guard up when they come back around um, because I don't feel like their intentions are going to be positive for you. So let's see what your advice is. Your advice for now. That's the choices. It's almost like, you know, once you kind of choose to leave this one um, alone, you heal from it. You got another wish coming in with a better future and a better potential when it comes to your fulfillment. I just feel like, um, you know, that lover's card is you, you were, um, what I feel with this read you guys is that you were treated as an option. 
So now it's time to kind of um, heal over from this and take a look at your options, especially when this comes back around. All right. So um, I'm going to pull some initials. We'll see who we're talking to. All right. So Leo, we have R and U. O, G. P and N. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.